Hey, I'm Rina, and today I'm going to show you how you can get started with digital planning on your iPad for free. I'm going to go through the best free iPad apps and their pros and cons. I'm also going to show you how to download a free digital planner along with these widget stickers that are new in our freebies vault, and also some quick ways you can make your own digital stickers. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for more weekly videos on digital planning and iPad productivity and creativity. Firstly, a digital planner has tabs and buttons that allow you to jump quickly to a particular page. You can write on it with the Apple Pencil, highlight and erase, and add stickers and photos into your planner. Digital planning is a great way to get organized and get your life on track in 2022 and beyond. To get started, you're going to need an app and I'm going to show you a couple of free ones. Kilo Notes is an easy to use app that has all the basic features you need for digital planning. Here I'm using my free planner in Kilo Notes and you can navigate using the hyperlinked tabs. You can write and highlight in different colors using the unlimited color palette, erase, and move things around with the lasso tool. You can add images from your photos or drag and drop from the iPad's multitasking side panel and resize and reposition images. Later in the video, I'll show you how to download these freebie widgets that are new in our freebies vault. I like that you can change the color of your handwriting after you've written it and undo using the double tap gesture. It's easy to rearrange planner pages. You can copy and paste the page anywhere you like and you can also drag and drop. Another useful feature is being able to tag your notes into different categories for quick reference at a later point. Some downsides of the app, I found that there's a limit on resizing images, so larger images can't be made smaller beyond a certain point. As you can see here, I can't make the sticker any smaller. Another downside is that there's no shapes tool, but you are able to draw individual strokes using the highlighter tool, which snaps straight. The next free app is Color Note, and I did my September plan with me using this app that is packed full of features. Once again, it works with hyperlinks. There's a variety of pen styles and a highlighter with unlimited colors. You can add images from your photos or drag and drop from the iPad's multitasking side panel and resize and reposition images. The lasso tool lets you move things around and you can also change the color of handwriting afterwards. On the more advanced features, I really like the shapes tool and you can easily switch between dark and normal modes. There's some cube stickers already inside the app that you can use and there's a selection of gestures like double tap to undo. Another useful feature is converting handwriting into text. You can collaborate with other users on the same document, although I haven't had the chance to test this feature out. Some downsides, the interface is not the most intuitive, so there's a bit of a learning curve. I've also experienced some minor bugs and glitches on a couple of occasions, and I'm also not the biggest fan of the text input tool, which brings up this screen, but it does work with the iPad scribble function. You can rearrange planner pages. However, there's no copy and paste page function, so you have to duplicate a page and drag and drop it into place. Between the two apps, Killer Note and Color Note, I would say that Killer Note is easier to use, but Color Note has more features. The last free app is OneNote. You can sync your OneNote planner across iPad, Android, PC, and anywhere that you're logged into your Microsoft OneNote account. You can create your own hyperlinks to other planner pages, and on the iPad, there's some really nice glitter pens that look especially cool on black paper. You can search for handwritten notes and use the image library to add photos. There's also a useful shapes tool, and you can insert tables. The downside of OneNote is that it isn't designed for digital planning and the navigation system is very different to other apps. You can navigate through the pages using the side panel and you can also create sections that contain a number of pages. You can use hyperlinks, but they're more like text hyperlinks. So if you're wanting clickable tabs, then OneNote is not going to give you that. The other downside is that there can be a slight lag between pages, as you can see here. Next, I'm going to show you how to download this free digital planner. It has hyperlinked monthly and weekly pages and a lined horizontal weekly layout that is ideal for neater handwriting. The planner is compatible with all PDF annotation apps for iPad and Android. So first tap on the free planner link in the description. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit and zoom into the options. So here are the options that you can choose from. You can choose the year of your planner here and then choose Monday or Sunday start. The free planner comes in two styles, this ring style or this ringless notebook style. So then I'm just going to come all the way down to the bottom and then here you have your download link. And if you're not using color note, just tap on this first link here and then just tap on the share icon and then choose your app from the list or tap on more and scroll down until you find your app. If you want more planner pages like daily pages and templates for productivity, wellness, nutrition, fitness, finances, project and goals, then check out my full planner bundles. I've got lots of different planner designs and colors, and each bundle includes multiple weekly and daily layouts, as well as stickers and covers.
I also have a free OneNote planner at the bottom of the free planner page if you want to give OneNote a try and this also has hyperlinked monthly and weekly pages. Next I've made some planner widgets you can download now from the freebies vault and I'm really happy with how these turned out. You can use them in any digital planner and they're great for getting organized and keeping track of your appointments, habits, shopping errands, reminders, priorities, to-dos and other things. There's lots of other free stickers in our freebies vault and I'm going to quickly show you how to download and use the stickers. In the vault just choose the stickers you want and tap on download and then tap through to get stickers and you'll You'll see all the stickers in OneDrive. Then just tap on the ones you want and download it. Once you've downloaded the stickers, you can easily add them into your app. So I'm just going to bring up another screen and then open up my files where I can access my downloads. And then I can just drag and drop the images into my planner. Next, I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own digital stickers using images you can just find on the web. So on the iPad, I'm using this app called Magic Eraser, which is a free app. And then I'm just going to tap on photos and I'm going to choose this image, which I downloaded from the web. And this is just a clip art sheet that has a gray background. And I'm just going to tap on done. And all you have to do is just tap on the background to remove it. Now you can see here, it has removed too much of that pink. So I'm just going to undo it and then turn down this tolerance to about 10. And now when I tap on it again, you can see it has only removed the white background. Then I can just tap on the share icon and then tap on save, choose my resolution, and this will save it into my photos. Then back in my app, I can just add the image through my images. I love using washi tape and you can easily make your own digital washi tape using pattern images. Here I'm saving this web image to my photos. Then back in my app, I'm adding it into my planner and cropping it to size. Then I'm resizing it over my planner headers like I used to do in my paper planners. Once you've made one, you can just copy and paste it as many times as you like, and you can also write on the washi tape. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It goes a long way in supporting my channel. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for more digital planning videos and check out my other videos below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.